All right, everybody. I am up here getting high with my wife on top of the mountain. And now we're going to drive down the mountain. And you all are going to ride along. But take a look at the view. I mean, what an impressive view. The name of the mountain is Mount Brockway. Mount Brockway up on Copper Harbor Peninsula. It's just outside of Copper Harbor, Michigan. The city that is the furthest north city in all of Michigan, Copper Harbor. All right, here we go. We're headed down the hill. I should have thought to record up the hill, but now we're headed down the hill. And you all headed with us. <laughs> four miles. Four miles outside, of, or four miles to Copper Harbor. And the funny thing is, is the drive up to this starts just outside of Copper Harbor, like less than a mile outside of Copper Harbor. So, wow. You know what I'm saying? And look, a sign that says Steep Hill. Imagine that. We're on a mountain. <laughs> it also tells us that it is a rough road. I got a news flash for him. This is not a rough road. Okay. They should drive around Cadillac area for a little while. Those are rough roads. And those of you in Cadillac area, you know what I'm talking about. Slide along down the trail. It's really strange. When I'm at home, I'll sleep in until 9, 30, 10 o'clock. When I'm camping, I can't sleep past 8.30. Not even if I tried. In fact, sleep until 8.30 is sleeping in for me when we're camping. This morning I was up at like between 6 and 7 and just kind of laid there trying to go back to sleep. I couldn't. I don't know if any of you have that problem when you're camping, but I certainly do. Alright, here we are. This is actually going down the mountain, so you're going to see some beautiful sights, but uh, it's funny because this is us going down the mountain. Here's one of the picture-taking areas. And it says, Steep Hill Down. Imagine that, a steep hill down a mountain. Really? And here we go. Wee! It's like a roller coaster, you know, you gotta yell wee. <laughs> oh, that was your yell. That was my yell. <laughs> yeah, that was my yell. Wee. <laughs> anyway, recording this, and I'm gonna be uploading it to Facebook later, or YouTube or something, but. Right now, it's just being recorded, so none of you can actually comment on this video because you're not, I'm not lying. But be service up here, there's no guarantee if it would have stayed the one live. Right? Service sucks up in Copper Harbor. Just so you know, if you ever come up here and you expect to use your cell phone, forget it. Unless you're on the mountain. Unless you're on top of the mountain. Great service on top of the mountain. Coming down the mountain, you lose it. Which is why this is pre-recorded. Um, but feel free to leave comments. I love getting comments. I love reading the comments. Even the ones that say, you know, David, you're an idiot. I still love them. So don't hold back. Okay, here's the next coming down. The next picture taking spot. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Well, their view is kind of off, but... It's still beautiful. very beautiful. Right. right there. I know. Anyway. This is what my wife is trying to tell me. Ooh. 
Look at all that. I mean, beauty may be in the eyes of the beholder, but that's beautiful. To me, that is beauty at its most, shall we say, primitive. Nature at its finest. I took you all over the bridge with me. Now I'm taking you down a mountain with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should get one of those uh, go cams and strap it to my forehead and just take you everywhere with me. No, that's not. Oh, come on. They may enjoy going to the bathroom with me. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway. Another scenic vantage point. Oh, yeah, that is definitely beautiful. I'll be posting some pictures in the comments, panoramics that I took up on top. Maybe I'll get my wife to send me the pics she's taking, post them. Because, yeah. Memories. Huh? Memories is what's important. Because when you look back, after the people are gone, you don't have those memories unless she you're had, able to capture them. That's, she has a very good point. So remember, everybody, make those memories. Keep telling you to love one another. We'll do that too, but love one another and be happy together. Do things that will create memories. You can buy your kids all kinds of things, buying video games or whatever. That's not what they're going to remember. They might remember playing the video game with you better. So make sure to make the memories. Take the time. None of us get to stick around forever and nobody knows when their time is gonna come up. So make those memories and make them last. Down we go. Woo. That time was a woo instead of a wee. <laughs> yeah, I remember when, uh, speaking of memories, I remember when Junior and Diamond and Chris and Kyle and Kirsten were younger, and we'd watch the 4th of July fireworks, and we'd sit there, we'd go, ooh, Ah, and we'd all do it together. Same, same exact time. We'd all go, ooh. We'd all go, ah. We'd all go, wow. And then we'd go back to, ooh, ah, wow. Which kind of made it seem like we were making fun of the fireworks, but we weren't. We were enjoying, enjoying the show. Goodness gracious. It tells you at the bottom of this, it's a rough road. But like I said, rough road, try Cadillac. <laughs> Just drive from Cadillac to any of the outlying areas. This is this is paradise by comparison. Now, in case any of you uh, are enthusiasts of hiking, biking, trail riding, the UP is full of them. Full of biking trails, hiking trails, skiing trails. I strongly, strongly advise, I strongly recommend the UP for your 
adventures. Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's a sign here that says the edge is this way. Not sure what bike. the edge is. Bike trail. Oh, the name of the bike trail is the edge. A bike trail down a mountain. Yeah, that sounds like a really <clears throat> good time. <laughs> You know, kids today, they got to have their bike helmets and bike pads and knee pads. And when I was growing up, we built our own bikes and sometimes those didn't stay together. And we didn't have bike helmets, knee pads. We, we crashed those bikes. We used to make ramps and jump them like Dukes of Hazard. We didn't have bike helmets. Knee pads. Who needs that crap? Right? Yeah, I'm showing you all a tree right now. My wife's taking a picture. <laughs> um, but there, there's something beyond the tree. Now, if this video cuts out because uh, I run out of memory on my phone, my apologies, but. Uh, I'm going to fill my phone up with as much of this video down the mountain as we can. Hopefully I get it all. All the way down because it's, it's just that beautiful. I can see my phone is trying to kind of skip and jump right now while recording. So I take a lot of pictures take a lot of videos. Need to clean my phone out. There's a overview of that coming up. Hopefully, I don't run out of. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I can't get it from here. Hopefully, I don't run out of memory on my phone before we get to the one down here that'll let us see that. Oh, dear. Missed. Damn it. Darn it. That too. Beautiful. Welcome to Northern Michigan, where the deer and the moose and the bear and the turkeys play. I know we got turkeys down by us too, and deer down by us, but still nature at its finest. Absolutely. My wife told me I'd have to ride the brake on her truck on the way down. She's right. <laughs> ah, here we are. We're actually almost to the bottom. It's pretty impressive. So look at that, people. Look at that. I'm gonna have to park here for a moment because I'm pretty sure my wife's gonna jump out. So we're gonna call this the bottom of the mountain. It's not, but we're close. Talk to you soon.